The third category of child labor continues to be a salient human rights risk for many businesses, in part because of approaches focusing mainly on monitoring child labor in workplaces rather than on tracking the main root causes of the problem. The, the social finance model that is presented to us today has the potential to address one of the major root causes of child labor, income insecurity, and I'm really looking forward to hear more about it later today. Whilst creating awareness on child labor amongst the service providers, so as to mitigate against social risks in their production chain. We are convinced that solutions to address child labor can be most easily scaled and are most likely sustainable if they are embedded in and linked to priorities of government and industry actors. Our labor, labor force survey is indicating 62.6.2 million, which is 40% of children aged 5 to 17 were engaged in child labor. In Uganda now, we have a challenge that COVID brought uh, some of the progress that we had made into a standstill. And uh, during COVID, the statistic now states that there was an increase from 21 to 36 in child labor. So we need, when we are packaging this message, to package it within the context. We want children to go to school. And therefore, you should not overload a child with so much work that will not allow the child to go to school.